PGA National, the home of the Honda Classic and Jack Nicklaus's Bear Trap, is in the midst of a pretty cool renovation project on their old Squire course. Originally, a George and Tom Fazio design that opened in 1983 is about to become an entertaining 9-hole par 3 design and an 18-hole course that will be very playable and feature classic architecture touches of years gone by. Up-and-coming architect Andy Staples is the man behind all of this renovation. I'm struck by the fact that if you play golf in Florida, uh, for any prolonged period of time, you start to feel like all the courses look and feel the same. And so I tried to give uh, our match play course a, uh, a feel of some golf holes that, that most people don't get a chance to play. So guys being from Chicago, uh, if you've ever been to Shore Acres, uh, Seth Rayner golf courses, ever been to National Golf Links in, in New York, you're seeing over here uh, the famous Baritz par 3 green. Uh, you're going to see some template holes throughout the rest of the other 17 holes. But the key difference is 25 bunkers. So a typical golf course in Florida probably has at least 60 or 70 bunkers, sometimes over 100. So we're building 25 bunkers and uh, a lot of short grass. These courses will certainly provide the missing links, so to speak, at this golf mecca. The nine hole layout is slated to open here in April of 2021 and should provide hole in one opportunities on some greens that will have a funnel like effect. When you have an entire bowl like this that funnels into one spot, you know, that just, that makes them feel good about golf. So I, I really tried hard to find some pins that, that funneled into one spot, not the whole green. If you look over here, there's a higher, some higher elevations and, more plateaus and so uh, so then I said all right well just not everything has to be so simple or so you know doesn't all have to funnel so I looked at some pins that were where each green could be set up to be real difficult there's no set tees you basically drop a ball much like you might play horse as a kid you know whoever made the last shot uh, chooses the next uh, next location you hit out, uh, all the greens are, are regulation size greens, so they're not small greens, they're big, good sized greens, all 5,000 square feet or larger. Uh, intentional that you can practice about every shot from 165, 170 yards and in. This fall, the revamped 18 hole course is slated to open and will not beat you up like the resort's champ course might. And I hope when people play this golf course, they say, They've had the most fun they've had on a golf course, uh, that they've maybe shot the lowest round that they've ever shot. And then I hope that there is a certain level of education around golf architecture, around asking questions like, why does that green have a big swale in the middle of it? Oh, well, have you ever been to National Golf Links? Have you ever been to Shore Acres? These are places that most public golfers have never seen, never hoped to see, which is a shame. And so I, I think a really big goal is to have an education on architecture and ask questions around how architecture uh, is inter intrinsically linked to your enjoyment of the game. All in all, this refreshing concept will be welcomed at PGA National and it will be a nice addition to the golf-rich landscape in the Sunshine State.